What's up guys, back with another video, and today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make this real quick, because I don't want to spend too much time on it. And the other day, it, this is not a review or anything like that, but the other day I was watching Behind the Scenes of Shazam, which is one of my favorite movies of 2019, which was a lot better than I expected it to be. And when I was re-watching that, when I was watching the behind the scenes stuff, I was like, this is how a DC movie should be done. I was just thinking, if they would have did like, if they would have focused on the actual story in the beginning and not trying to rush things so quickly to form a universe to catch up with Marvel, then they wouldn't have, their movies would have came out a lot better. However, now that Zack Snyder is gone, they have more of a chance to think about that and they actually plan out their stories ahead of time. They're not trying to rush anything. They're taking their time with it and then focusing on the stories, developing the characters, and it's a lot better now, right now, than it was before when they were depending on a single person for a whole universe and that's just not right at all so um i was i'm planning out my own universe my own dceu universe if it's still called that and i will be giving you guys i will be breaking down my movies like like they will be in phases like marvel but they might not be the the same amount of movies. Like for example, in phase one of a Marvel, it was I believe six movies. I think Iron Man, Iron Man Two, Incredible Hulk, Captain America, Thor, and the Avengers. Yeah, there was six in the first in the first. Um, in the first phase of the MCU, so mine's not might might not be exactly the same amount of numbers. However, I I do have a story. I I'm, I do have a story for each one of my single characters and my my movies and how I'm planning it out. And I'm actually going currently. I'm going back and reading some. I'm reading some comic books to get some ideas. I'm watching. TV series to get some ideas if I'm stuck like right now I'm working on uh, one of my flash movies and some ideas some ideas might stay the same some might change for example in my universe Batman will not be a killer another thing is as far as the origin story with um, Superman um I'm fine with that. I mean, and I, uh, we already know how Superman became Superman, but um, I mean, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we, when we come to it. But however, I will be breaking down uh, in the next few weeks or so, or next few couple of months or so, or whenever I get to it, I'll be breaking down. The movies for each phases and I won't I won't be doing all the movies in one video I'll break down what the movie is uh, which movie will start the phase you know and go through and go from there and you know who the villain will be what the plot is stuff like that what I would change, what, you know, if there is a movie that I like, for example, Man of Steel, I would keep Man of Steel. However, when I get to that, uh, I will make a few changes about that movie. But I'm just not going to explain what it is right now. But, yeah, that's my video for today. I just want to let you guys know that, uh, you know, it's, I've been planning this for a while now and it's just really fun to think 
really fun and creative to come up with ideas that that Warner Brothers hasn't thought about or didn't think about and you know j just rewriting their universe playing it ahead of time that way they don't have to you know I would not compete with Marvel you don't have to compete with someone another um don't just just don't worry about what Disney's doing just worry about what you're doing just take your just take your time out just take your time like I'm taking my time I'm still planning the statistics of the end of my phase three and a couple of flash movies that I'm that I'm stuck on however I will give you guys an analysis of you know like I said of of superhero of the you know Man of Steel flash uh, Green Lantern, all that, the plot, the villains, you know, the premise, you, well, and you get it, but let me know what you guys think, are you excited, do you guys have, have any ideas for me, what do you think of the current D of DCEU now that Zack Snyder is no longer in charge, let me know, leave your comments below, don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.